So that's great. Now on the headline of the header, it's got a star. I really do not like icons on headings. That's just me. Um, we do have um, options on that. Let's see. Fill, shape, order, radius. Okay, right now we did have the other effects on the uh, box, so let's finish that. We have a little bit rounder buttons at the top, so I'm going to go to the radius, and I'm going to bump the radius to 10. And I'm going to show you why. We have these rounded edges, so I want these rounded edges to match a little bit more, and they were kind of kind of coarse there. See, I can check it out. I think we had those at 15. We could make these at 15, and that sort of matches, and that we have the same shape there, so we can kind of get something going here that looks a little bit cleaner and matches uh, the rest of the, the uh, template. Okay, let's see. And bullets. We have uh, bullets further down in the page, and right now there are these little arrows, and we kind of have something going on. We have picture. We can pick a picture. You can actually put your own icon. If you have your own icon in there, you can absolutely pick it. Um, there's little stars. There's little boxes. There's little flowers. None of these quite do it for me. Um, maybe I'll pick one that's just a little star or something. Ah, not a lot of stars to choose from there. Okay, I'm going to just go with a little triangle. Now you can also tell that you want the, the bullets uh, color of the bullet to be different. And you can pick it there. You can also change the color of the text for the bullets. I'm going to leave the color of the text for the bullets the same as the rest of the text. Um, font family, same thing. You can pick it and change it for each thing. You don't want to go, to go too crazy. Um, the other thing down in here that you want to look at is the table. I almost always, this once again like the picture, I turn the border off uh, because you can add it easier for something later than to take it off um, just by uh, regular HTML code in a poster page. Okay, in the header. We're in here. Header layout. We had figured that out. Header icon. I really hate header icons. That's just me. I want to take that out. And you can actually also make the header uh, text style a little bit bolder. I think that's a little light. I think bold would look better. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with the text look and that kind of thing. All right. Now we go to the blocks. These are the blocks over here. Uh, I happen to like this style where the block for the header is bumping into the block for the content, but you can always pick your own. Uh, you can have a block here on the top, let me see, where we just have a block and no body, no header with a block around the body. Uh, separate boxes, this is the same, should be about the same style, but without the rounded corners, and since we are using rounded corners elsewhere, I want the rounded corners here there, and then there's another rounded corner where things are separated. Oh, that's, that's where they're, the rounded corners on the outside. Let's see what this one is. Another one with rounded corners. I think I'm going to leave it the way it was. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Styling. Radius. Now we want to go to a, yeah, 15 is too much for this, but let me show you what it looks like here. Uh, it's a little bit too much for where it's going to be, so let's go ahead and go back to the radius. Let's take it about 8. We still get the rounded edges. Now we also have block spacing, and we had a lot of spacing on the other side, so let's put some block spacing here so we get these, get the same feel, basically, as everything else. Uh, header, text content, I want to lose the icon in this case. Um, you definitely could leave an icon, it's just, for me, if I found one I really liked, I might use it, but there's not one I really think is fabulous for right here. Um, if I were doing, oh, let's say a star. We have the little pencil star. See, I've got this whole set springy kind of look, so I really am just going to take it off icon because I don't have one. Now if I were going whole whole hog and designing a website for a client or for myself, I would absolutely want to maybe have a custom icon there. Okay, so we have the blocks. Now the other thing is, do we want the block body to be colored or do we want the block body to be white? And we can put the content, fill, we can do color, we can lighten it up. Uh, it doesn't have white there anymore, so we can pick more colors if we want it to be white. Click OK. And we go white. And I actually think I liked it better with a little bit of color on there. See? Whoops. I lost my picture. What happened? Okay. All right. Yeah, let's pick this guy right there. All right. I just needed a little color. A little color helped. All right, so that's the box. 
uh, the box and the buttons. Now this button here, because on a blogger blog, which was what we initially chose, it's going to be powered by Search Google, but that button is going to say the same. So the button they're talking about is down here in the sample button. And I don't like those uh, little shadows behind the buttons. I don't know what it is about them that bug me. And we're not using that part of a gradient for other things, so I'm going to go ahead and change the gradient to something softer. And I'm okay with the border behind it, and the text is fine. And when we mouse over, we get this nice mouse over effect that's all set based on the initial colors that we uh, put in there, and I just think it's wonderful. Last thing to set up is the footer. And once again, uh, everything is, is uh, something we can set up. We can pick one of the dark colors, one of the brighter colors. Now we'll have to change the, the fonts if we change one of these. Something in between. Okay. We can pick one of the medium colors, and then we can put a gradient on top of it if we want. And we have other gradients. Let's see, gradient, dark to light. How's that? There we go. I like that one. All right. Um, I think these are perfectly uh, visible, so I'm not going to mess with them much. If, if we had picked a really dark color, we would want to change the font, uh, the text color, or the, and the hyperlink color to being so, something light. Right now the text is kind of dark. I can change this text to something that's a little bit lighter so that it matches more or less uh, what the rest of the text is. That's not it. Let's try one of these. All right, and that sort of matches, even though it's not a mouse over, I'm good with that. Now you can turn these on so they have up underlines. Uh, most of the hyperlinks are turned off as far as having underlines. They all work. You have mouse overs on all of these things, uh, but they don't have uh, hyperlinked or not underlined, but they have hover, hover states and active states. Okay, and the last thing over here is to pick our RSS icon, see which we like. We have a whole bunch of choices. We have... Uh, squares and circles, and right now that was the uh, three-dimensional one in there. I think I like this one. It has the rounded corners. Yeah, rounded corners. I'm going with rounded corners this time. 